Hello chemists and welcome to Bale's Chemistry. This is the first episode in AQA topic 1.5, Kinetics. And we're going to look at the factors affecting rate of reaction. This topic is covered at GCSE, so most of it will serve as a reminder, but it also appears on paper two of your final exams. Let me know in the comments below how much you remember from your GCSEs. Chemical reactions happen when molecules or particles of reactants collide. These collisions must happen with the correct amount of energy for a reaction to take place. We call this activation energy. If a collision happens without the particles having the activation energy, then no reaction occurs and the particles bounce off each other. If you want to increase the rate of reaction, you have to increase the rate of collisions or the amount of energy the particles have when they collide. Particles of the reactants all have different amounts of energy. Some have less than activation energy and some have more than activation energy. This means that most of the collisions don't result in a reaction. But the ones involving particles that have more than activation energy do have a chemical reaction. If we increase the amount of collisions taking place every minute of the reaction, we will increase the amount of reactions taking place each minute. This increases the rate of reaction. If we increase the amount of energy the particles have, so more particles have energy that is greater than the activation energy, this means that more of the collisions that take place will result in a chemical reaction. This also speeds up the rate of reaction. There are four main factors that affect the rate of reaction. The first one is temperature. The next one is concentration or pressure. Then we have surface area. And finally, the addition of a catalyst. Temperature is related to the amount of kinetic energy the particles have. So if you increase the temperature, you'll increase the energy of the particles. This means that the particles are moving faster with more energy, and this leads to a greater frequency of collisions. And because these collisions have more energy, a greater proportion of these collisions result in a successful chemical reaction. Because you're increasing the collisions and the energy, temperature has a twofold impact on the rate of reaction. Concentration and pressure have an impact on the rate of reaction. We talk about concentration when we're talking about liquids and pressure when we're talking about gases. When we increase the concentration, we put more particles into the same volume. This causes the particles to collide more frequently, which in turn increases the rate of reaction. When one of the reactants is a solid, changing the surface area has an impact on the rate of reaction. Only particles on the surface of the solid are available to react. So if you increase the surface area, usually by breaking it into smaller pieces or grinding it into a powder, then more particles are available for reaction. This increases the frequency of collisions, which in turn increases the rate of reaction. Catalysts lower the activation energy. They do this by providing an alternative pathway for the chemical reaction. The number of collisions remains the same, but more of these collisions will be successful because more of the collisions will take place with energy that is greater than activation energy, so the rate of reaction increases. So in summary then, increasing the rate of successful collisions increases the rate of reaction. The energy of the molecules and the frequency of the collisions can be altered to change the rate. An increase in temperature causes an increase in the energy of the reactants. This in turn increases the collisions with more of them being successful, so the rate of reaction increases. An increase in the pressure or concentration increases the number of collisions, which means there's an increase in rate. Increasing the surface area increases the collisions of the reactants, which also increases rate. And adding a catalyst lowers the activation energy, which means a higher proportion of the collisions result in a successful reaction. So this also increases rate. Thanks for watching this episode of Bale's Chemistry. There are more kinetics videos here. And if you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button to get better at chemistry.